All right, guys, here we go. Next five Hall of Famers. We'll start out with Mr. Lou Boudreaux. Nickname, Old oh, Shufflefoot. Another nickname, The Good Kid. He was an eight-time All-Star, 1948 MVP, lifetime 295 batting average, 1,779 hits. He was an All-American in basketball at the University of Illinois. Uh, he credited with he's credited with the inventing the shift. They called it the Boudreaux shift. Basically, Ted Williams is trying to find a way to get him out. He was a pool hitter. It really didn't work. But he is credited with that. This is in a uh, GAI slab. I like this slab pretty good. Looks pretty sharp compared to the other ones I've seen. Uh, this one says first graded on it. And uh, from what I've read, like the first 10 cards of each grade, we get a first graded, which is kind of silly kind of neat at the same time because I doubt there was they graded 10 of these cards but anyways uh, his daughter married Denny McLean uh, Lou Boudreau Hall of Famer next guy up Joe Flash Gordon in his 1948 Leaf uh, 1942 MVP. Spent 1944 and 1945 in the military. Nine-time All-Star, five-time World Series, lifetime 268 average. There was a uh, comment from one of his managers that said basically that he was clutch when it mattered the most, he would perform the highest, basically. That was a comment. And then I looked at his records. His batting average at home, 256. Batting average on the road, 279. 23 points higher on the road, so that is pretty clutch. Another funny thing that happened when he was managing in 1960, he was involved in the rare manager trade. So he was traded for the Tigers' Jimmy Dykes coach. So, it, I mean, it didn't last very long after that, but that's weird. I don't know what they was trying to accomplish, but they traded managers, Joe Gordon, for Jimmy Dykes. Next up, another one in the 48 leaf, Ralph Kiner. A little tape spot on the top, don't bother me a bit. Don't bother me a bit, I'd rather have the car just not have it. Ralph Kiner, 279 lifetime batting average, 369 home runs, 1,451 hits, six-time All-Star. Tell you, this guy enlisted for duty day after Pearl Harbor. 1943 earned his pilot's wings and in 1944 flew mariner flying boats on submarine patrols accumulated 1200 flying hours ralph connor dated elizabeth taylor ava gardner and janet lee got voted in by the baseball writers association got in by one vote on his 13th year and I don't think they voted the next two years so basically on his last chance he could have got in by the veterans committee but the writers committee got him in on his 13th year by one vote barely made it but he's in there that's all that matters next there's the covey of these 1948 leaves coming up Lucius Luke Appling, a.k.a. Old Aches and Pains. That was his nickname. Old Aches and Pains. 
seven-time All-Star. Really, uh, I'm going to read some of these stats, but I was surprised. I knew he was a Hall of Famer. I knew he was a good player, but he's got some pretty impressive stats. Seven-time All-Star, two-time batting title. In 1936 and 1943, one of those batting titles. He did spend 1944 in the military. 2,749 hits, lifetime 310 batting average. In 1936, he batted 388 on the season. Pretty impressive. Wasn't really known as the best fielder, though. He did have 643 errors in his lifetime. Uh, had been left-handed all his life until he got to high school. Wanted to be shortstop, so he, him and his dad worked and become right-handed. There was a neat story one time. He's playing for the White Sox, and he asked for some balls to autograph for kids, and they were real stingy, and they turned him down and said, no, we're not going to give you any balls for these kids to sign. He loved giving away autographs. So I think he came up pretty early in batting, pr batting practice that day before the game and uh, fouled pitch after pitch after pitch just fouled them off, just one after another, countless numbers. And uh, it was said that he yelled up to the uh, management in the upper deck or the the field box, wherever they was at, take that. And it's said that they, they gave him baseballs to sign after that. But it doesn't say how many he fouled off in protest of that, but it was a lot. At age 75... In the Cracker Jack Old Timers game, the dude took Warren Spawn yard, hit a home run at age 75. Uh, pretty neat. Old Timers game. Luke Apple. Moving along. Mr. Robin Roberts. Got a couple of his cards. Three hundred five complete games. Led the majors for five years, complete games. Seven time all star, lifetime record, two hundred and eighty six wins, two hundred and forty five losses. Lifetime three forty one batting average. 4,688 innings pitched, 2,357 strikeouts. Held the record, or it may not have been the record, but at the time it was, it was notable. 12 consecutive opening day starts. Just an innings eater. Would stay in there and wouldn't come out, get the job done. Robin Roberts, old. Hall of Famer for the Phillies. And I'm going to throw in a bonus tonight when I left off when I did some Sam Usual of the night. Look at this. One time I didn't like these too much. But man, these exhibits. That's just a beautiful picture. 1947 to 1966 exhibits of Sam Usual kneeling. Stud, Stan the Man, got his name. Honestly. Good player. All right, guys. Thanks.